So in this video, I'm going to show you one simple trick on how you fix your shaky footage and make it a lot smoother. So the one simple Adobe Premiere tip and trick so you can fix any shaky footage is you probably don't know this or you may not, but it's one of the tools that is really beloved to my heart and is called Warp Stabilizer. So all you need to do is you drag that clip, double click on the clip or drag it onto the selected clip that you want to be more stable. And also there's a couple things you need to know about Warp Stabilizer. One is that you need to have Warp Stabilizer to match the clip dimensions. So what you can do is you can nest the clip, right click, and click next nest once you nested the clip then you can you're able to apply warp stabilizers on things such as slow motion clips and clips that don't match the 1080 by 980p dimensions so once you apply warp stabilizer what you're essentially doing is taking a very shaky footage as you can see here and what Warp Stabilizer does is it crops into the video itself and it tries to find a point where it can be centered. Zoomed out, you can tell that yes, it is moving around and cropped, but if you zoom in that video, you can see that the initial footage itself is a little shaky. But if you put Warp Stabilizer on, it actually becomes a very smooth to a point where it's almost handheld. And Warp Stabilizer is one of the tools that I've used when I very first started my videography career with my own clients. And how it works is you go to clip, like I said, double click Warp Stabilizer, and then you go into your effects panel. Scroll down. And I know there's a lot of other tutorials that tell you you should do this type of motion. You could do no motion, subspace warp perspective. But if you want to get straight to the point and have a clip that you want to stabilize and not know about the nitty gritty and just be able to stabilize a clip, it's usually set on smooth motion and you can have anywhere from 50% to 65%, 10% and 1%. Those are the percentages that I like to use when I use warp stabilizer. But the thing with using a higher smoothness percentage on warp stabilizer is that it may or may not, depending on the clip and how it's filmed, zoom in or do some kind of weird pulsating effect. Hence, for me, if I want to play it safe and make the clip look as natural as possible without using any sort of, make it look like it's using warp stabilizer, I put it at 1%. And you're thinking 1% doesn't do a lot, but if you have things like VR on your lens and image stabilization within your camera, 1% on top of warp stabilizer does a lot of a difference, as you can see here. Clip on the left is stabilized and the clip on the right is not stabilized. It's very subtle, but you can definitely notice that warp stabilizer is still one of the favorite tools of mine today, especially if you don't have a mechanical gimbal to rely on and a steady cam. Knowing how to film and using the clips that you want to stabilize with warp stabilizer will be a lifesaver. So my first tip when it comes to using a warp stabilizer effect is you want your footage before you even film it, before you even put warp stabilizer on it, is that you want it to be still as possible when you're hand holding it. So this is things like making sure you're moving slowly. The body, the camera is close to your body, so there's not a lot of camera jitters. And number two is making sure you're using things like VR on your lens, vibration reduction, image stabilization, if you have that option on your lens, as well as making sure your camera has things like IBIS, in-body image stabilization, on top of things like using even a mechanical Steadicam, and then you pair that and put it in slow motion, and you put that with warp stabilizer, then you're able to have quite the steady footage. And as you can see here, it almost looks like that I am using some kind of mechanical Steadicam, but all it is is just warp stabilizer. Warp stabilizer can be used for a lot of shots. It can be used for whether that's panning shots, definitely up and down shots, your left to right. 
so it can do a lot of panning as well as slow motion and you can use warp stabilizer for almost anything that you want to make handheld look almost still and that's what I love about warp stabilizer and that guys that is the one tool that I think a lot of people should or better know when it comes to Adobe Premiere and you don't have that DJI Ronin or that gimbal is warp stabilizer make use of it definitely one of the tools that I still use and you should use too in your video editing arsenal my name is Peter you're watching broke visionary collective where we all start with nothing but you can always create something cheers <laughs>